Christmas season is all about family and faith, and this is a remarkable story about both. It's from our friend Squire Rushnell, the best-selling author of the popular Godwink series, described as life-changing coincidences or unexpected experiences. And Ted Harris's story is just that. Take a look. My wife Kathy and I were married 40 years. It was a wonderful marriage. Christmas was Kathy's favorite holiday. Her policy was, you can't decorate too much. I'd string the lights outside while she turned the inside into a Christmas wonderland. Every year she gave the children and me a special ornament. One year mine was a little picture frame with her smiling face. When you pressed a button it would say, Merry Christmas honey, I love you, have a happy new year. That smile is what characterized Kathy. She wore it every day in her battle with ovarian cancer for five and a half years. Christmas Eve 2010 was the worst day of my life. That was the day I had to put Kathy into hospice. Three days later, she went to heaven. One year later, I arose early on Christmas Eve morning. I couldn't sleep missing Kathy's sweet smile. I came down to an empty house, which I decorated the way she liked. I turned on the tree lights and decided to light the candle that was next to the picture frame ornament that she always placed there on an end table. But when I flicked the candle lighter, the most unbelievable thing happened. The voice on the picture frame spoke. I checked the button, it was still in the off position. Now there's probably a scientific reason for that happening, but in my moment of sadness, hearing her voice gave me comfort, knowing my angel was okay and she was not to be forgotten. I felt God was in the room, a God wink from heaven. Wow. Oh my God, that's definitely that's a sweet. God wink.